Hi, my name is Greg Palia. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how does spray foam get secured to an existing roof. Now, maybe you've never heard of spray foam before and you're wondering, you know, is it going to, how, how sticky is it to an existing roof? Is it, is it barely laid on there? Does it need fasteners, adhesives, etc.? Um, and I'm here to tell you that spray foam has a tenacious adhesion to an existing roof. It is definitely a fully adhered roofing system. It will not go anywhere. Um, tenacious adhesion is what commonly gets thrown around. Um, so if you want to, uh, leave a couple of videos on our YouTube channel showing you know, foam going down. You'll see how much it attached to an existing substrate. Uh, maybe you're wondering what roofing substrates can foam be properly attached to. Um, metal granulated modified, smooth modified, smooth built up, gravel built up. Um, definitely don't need a cover board for any of those. Um, a lot of common roofs, you know, TPO, EVDM, rubber roofs, uh, rubber sheets. Um, spray foam adheres good to those, but uh, not great. And we want it to be great and perfect. Um, so sometimes we'll install, you know, a very inexpensive cover board to install it over the rubber roofs and then spray foam over top of that. Uh, maybe you're wondering about how is a roofing surface prepared before before foam can be you know properly installed. It really goes into three things: dry, clean, and sound. You know the roof's got to be dry. Um, spray foam is a chemical reaction type thing, and if there's water already on the roof, it'll react with the foam um, instead of the foam reacting with the, how it's supposed to react. So water will interfere with the chemical reaction it needs to attach properly. Um, a clean roof, you know, pretty, pretty standard, you know, can't be debris and loose rock and sticks on the roof. It's got to be, you know, completely clean. So we're power washing it, let it dry overnight or what happens. But the level of cleanness matters. Um, one of our owners, you know, has stated, you know, the roof should be so clean that even if you drop your sandwich on it, you wouldn't mind picking it up and eating it. That's how clean these roofs got to be um, to install, you know, a foam roof. And then uh, sound. And we're talking about a roof being fully adhered. So foam just goes over whatever's already there. So it's kind of relying on what's already there um, for the system to stay on there and not blow away. So if you have a rubber roof that's only attached at the seams, you know, we'll have to put a cover board over that to make sure it's fully adhered. Now the metals and the granulated modifies the roofs that are fully adhered already, you can just spray foam over that and it's no big deal. But sound just means that what we spray to has to be fully adhered. Um, for it to work right. And then, you know, what are the benefits of foam attaching to an existing roof? Well, really it's to minimize tear off. You know, tear off equals costs. It takes a lot of labor to rip a whole roof off. You have to pay to, you know, labor hours to bag it all. You have to pay to transport it to a landfill, pay their costs. Um, you know, it's not good for the environment to contribute to landfill. So there's a lot of negatives in that. And then you have to install a whole new roof after that. You know, more count, more costs, more labor. It's good just to minimize tear off. Just pick the areas that are wet or areas that are holding wet insulation, get those out of there and replace them with similar material and then foam the rest of the roof. It's way more cost effective than doing a complete tear off. And then people have asked, um, how strong is spray foam? You know, can you walk on it, for example? Um, spray foam has a compression strength of 50 to 60 PSI, pounds per square inch, which is very similar to the pegs that your refrigerator stands on. So it's a very, very strong material. Um, sharp objects may puncture it. Maybe a drop screwdriver could go in there. It just sharp matters. Um, strength really doesn't, but the sharpness of objects do matter. But with spray foam being closed cell, and it's always at least an inch thick. So even if water gets in there, like you cut around the area and fill it in, and you'll be good to go. It won't leak just because a screwdriver went in it, you know, a centimeter or whatnot. Uh, still won't leak. Um, that's really it for today. If you want to learn about anything I talked about today, in the description below, there's a link to the blog post uh, where you can read more. And I uh, hope you learned at least one thing new today, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.